Okay, let's take a look at the market. We're gonna look at the weekly, the daily, the trade of the day. I haven't been able to trade the last two days. My day job, you know. Can you imagine that the day job getting away my in the way of my trading. <sighs> you know, I'm stuck between full time trading and full time job. That's where I'm at in life right now. I make actually make more money trading than I do work at my IT job. And yes, my IT job pays really well, but yeah. So, anyways. Hopefully this year I can make the transition uh, to just do full-time trading, but duty calls for now and I couldn't trade the last two days and whatever. That's just the way it is. All right, let's take a look at the weekly and here we are on the weekly chart. Um, spread this out just a little bit. You know, divergence still showing up here. Let's see, what is this right here? Okay, no divergence this week, but divergence last week. We can get rid of this. Okay. And since we're right here live, live, is it live or is it number X? Live here on the video, June 16th, 2024. Let's go ahead and do it. This should really be, by the way, let's duplicate this. We'll put it over here. Bring this one up out of the graveyard here. Uh, I think it's notes. Yep, yep. Put them up here so we can see them a little better. Um, this should really be blue. Makes sense for it to be blue. Clear the screen here. Blue. And this makes sense to be blue too. That one right there is April 7th. I won't put it on there because March 31st and April 7th are really close. We're one week apart, so no biggie there. We'll keep it the same. And turn it to blue too. Okay, so those are the dates. Oops, wrong one there. June 16th. Okay. June 16th. All right, so that's that. So those are your dates for the weekly, this and that. I do think we're going to see a decent decline down into this. And on the daily, something interesting happened today. We're going to talk about it. But uh, on the weekly here, um, all-time new high this week. The range really wasn't that impressive this week, 60.75. Today, I believe, is Wednesday, so two more days to go. This range could um, extend, but I don't think so, at least not upward. Yeah, I already getting a hint going on there, right? Okay, let's work. Let's switch, I should say, over to the daily. The daily. Okay. Look at that, folks. What do you call that right up there? Mmm, that is highly suspicious. Okay. Uh, yes, the doji has come to visit. Hello, Mr. Doji. And it happens to be right up there like a little crown. Okay. Looks like an evening star to me. We'll see what tomorrow brings. But right now, this has that look to it that this could very well be the high for quite a while. Of course, we don't have confirmation. We will know Thursday, Friday, okay, whether or not this truly is an evening star. It looks like it to me. Um, so that definitely got my notice today. Got my attention. All right. And since I'm doing all this maintenance here, we might as well pull these way out here for now. We're doing it right together here live on the video. Okay, some of these lines can probably be removed, but we'll keep them in there for now. This one's 47, 43. Okay, make that 47, 43. Wish there was a way to do a snap, but they don't let you snap it in place. That I'm aware of anyway. You just gotta manually pull it over here and then Go and fart around with it. What is it? 46.52. Okay. All right. And then this last one, 45.48. Okay. All right. Now we got all those in place. Yep, yep, yep. January 31st. Eh. Now. Well, okay. There could be a little, you know, just a few days ago, I said, I don't, I didn't think anything was going to happen here, but now with this doji, yeah, yeah, maybe there you go. Just right now, five o'clock just started 
that is the futures right there opening up as I'm doing this video. Um, five o'clock here in Texas time. You can see this is the price it's trading at. It. Okay. Um, then you know what? There could be a small little beginning of a pullback, but it's only six calendar days away, so I'm not expecting too much in that. But it could happen, folks. We could see price start to pull down into this date a little bit. Maybe we'll see. There's February 8th right there for the next one. That is February 25th. Let's go ahead and we're just in maintenance mode today. We're just doing it. February 25th. These may change, but for now we'll we'll do these cycles for now. February 25. Okay, and then the the yellow one is March 11th, which that one, I guess we'll grab this one, just change the color. Put it over here. Yeah. March 11th, the purple one is the 13th, the green one is the 19th. So we'll just go with this one for now. March 11th and change the color um, to the purple. Okay, so those are your dates, January 31st, February 8th, February 25th, and March 11th. Those are kind of the cycles that I have at the moment for the daily chart. And yeah, I could see price, you know, chopping around up here for a while. Maybe something like that. We'll see how far it comes down. I don't know. All right, that we have to wait to play out. But like I said, this looks like an evening star, unless this does some massive boom, bam, boom, which it could do. Okay, but my thoughts are right now, uh, this could very well be the high for a while. Okay, for members, please pay attention to tonight's email because I have some extra information regarding all this. Okay, all right. Um, let's see. Let's go over to the trades of the day. Okay, two two of them really stand out to me. This one right here, which happened on the this is the five minute chart, by the way, five minute chart. Get the pencil to work here. Five minute chart, S P five hundred futures. This one happened this morning at nine. 9.05, five minutes after nine CST time, okay? You can even see the purple candlestick because we're doing the color coding now on the, on the candlestick. So whenever it gets us plus, a, uh, this indicator comes up with uh, an indication, that candlestick at that exact time will uh, will be purple at the time that it closes, right? At the time that candlestick closes. So every five minutes, right? So really cool purple candlestick, get us plus indicator. I like this indicator a lot. I prefer to see the triangle and this kind of stuff. Some people like the like the uh, the purple candlestick. That's great. Got them both. Whichever one you want to use, or both, go for it. Um, I really like this trade. Um, this trade was easy peasy, one two three easy. I wish I had time to trade it today. I would have made some bank. Um, but yeah, this is super easy, guys. This is the kind of trade you want to be seeing. Purple candlestick. It begins to curl up. Okay. It starts taking off. By the time you get into this green candlestick right up in there, you take the trade. Boom bang! It goes to the moon. Really, really nice. This was, uh, let's see, 15, all the way up to 30, 15 points, 15 points. Oh my goodness. I don't even want to think about how much money I could have made today. Anyway, uh, that's a lot of money right there. You're trading E-minis, big banks, big bank, E-micros still. You know, to be, to be honest, if I was trading today, this would have been, would have been about $1,500 for me. Just this one trade right here. All right, and for those that haven't watched my videos before, you can go back and look at my videos for like the last two weeks. I think almost every day I've got my uh, trades on there, the profits I was making, like profits two weeks. Uh, it must have been like almost every day for two weeks I was making a lot of money. And then the job, it's like, please come and help us. Okay, so that's that trade. Really nice, and this trade really wasn't bad. The timing could have been a little better, but it still nailed it. Um, this was at 1240, purple candlestick. Price came down, it stalled sideways. Now this is a little bit harder trade because um, on the SMI here, stochastic momentum index, the momentum was already way super low. But you see how the MACD was widening out and going down? See that? Big fat wide. Right, big gap in the MACD and it's heading straight down, right? 
So sometimes you got to pay attention to, you got to really, well, not sometimes, you got to pay attention to both all the time. The other thing that, that should give you a clue that this was a, a going to be a, a, a very tr good trade is once this purple cancel came up, you see how this section here is like consolidation? You just got like, uh, looks like about one, two, three, four, five, six candlesticks. Let's make this a little bigger, yeah? Make this a little bigger. See how this section right here is just like consolidated? It just tracks sideways for a while. So you get the alert, tracks sideways. It starts tracking sideways. You're just waiting to see, does it break up or break down? And the MACD is going to help you make, um, at least give you a really good indication, not guarantee, but good indication which way this is going to break. So when you see this kind of consolidation going on, just in other words, sideways chop, you get the indicator. This is a little bit more advanced, um, a little bit more advanced, um, uh, to what I'm looking for. It's a little more encrypted, right? It, it, this requires a little more advanced technique to, to understand how to trade this as opposed to the previous one, which was easier, right? The previous one was just at the bottom. It curled up, easy trade, get in, go to the top, get out. This one's a little bit more encrypted, right? And you have to be a little more patient and understand what the market's doing. So you get the signal, purple candlestick, it starts to consolidate, it's tracking sideways. And then at that point, when you see all these six, five, six candlesticks tracking sideways, pay attention to the MACD. Now you can tell this is already just sitting at the bottom all the way through this whole mess, right? It doesn't really bounce. It doesn't get above the zero, the negative 40 line down here. It doesn't come up like that, right? It just stays down here. That's usually a pretty good indication that you got to pay attention to the MACD. And sure enough, it just starts going south. As soon as this thing breaks right here, you take the trade. Now you're not going to make this quite as much. A little bit harder, but you're still going to make some good money right here. So you're, you're going to make it from about 49.15. Um, and you're probably going to get out somewhere in this area, about 49.07. So about eight points, about eight solid points right there. Okay. So we had, those are the two trades to me that stand out for the day. You got 15 points right here. Very, and the reason why I picked these areas because they're very reliable. They're very reliable trades. Okay, And then you got eight point spot right here. So this was 15 going up. This is eight coming down. You guys do the math. What do you got there? 23, right? 23. 15, 8, 23. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's see. 2,300 divided by 2. Uh, 1,000. What was that? 1,150. My math is good here. And yeah, and uh, let's see, a tenth of that's about one hundred and fifteen dollars. Okay, when I'm trying, what the, what am I doing here? I'm figuring out what how much somebody can make off a of one e micro. So one e micro on the futures of my math. I'm just doing some quick math here. You should be able to make about one hundred and fifteen dollars today, just on these two trades. Okay, just on one one little e micro. Okay, if you're doing one e mini, it's times ten. Because E mini is your time times ten, and you get this up here. This is E S. This one over here is M E S. Okay. So if you're trading one E mini, you made eleven hundred fifty bucks today. If you're trading a micro, you made one hundred fifteen. Okay. Lately, I've been trading two of these, so that's why I went with the twenty three hundred because I just for me it's easy to calculate this. I just add these two numbers together, and I get how much money I'm making. But soon, I hope I'm going to three E minis. I hope. All right. Cool beans, right? Two really nice trades there. Okay. If you want to become a member, that's great. Glad you stuck around. There is a link uh, in the in the description just below this video on YouTube. Okay. Make sure you read the instructions very carefully so you don't have any problems joining. Once you've done all that, click on the Discord link. It's going to bring you over to this Get a Server. Then you click on Server Shop. Brings you here. Seven dollars and ninety nine cents, guys and gals. I mean, come on. This is like coin. I've been saying for like the last month, I should, be, I should be charging 50 bucks. Okay, but I'm gonna keep it 799. This is an extremely good value. You get the streaming charts, just like we saw on the on the trades of the day. I showed the five minute charts a few minutes ago in this video. There's also a 15 minute chart and a one hour chart. Those are streamed live to the members five days a week, 23 hours a day. Well, really 24 hours a day. The future's closed for an hour, but basically the charts stay up the whole week. Okay. And on those three charts, the five minute, the 15 minute, the one hour that's streamed live, right? So when you join, you just click on this channel down here, SP500 stream, and you're going to get the stream. 
okay, with the three charts. On those charts, you get the give us plus indicator. You're gonna get some simple moving averages on there. You get, yes, you get the purple candlestick that we just added in there, we're really nice, I added that the other day. Um, on the hourly chart, you get um, the, cycle, the cycle brackets, just like I showed in the daily chart with the dates. But I do the same thing on the hourly chart, but it's hours instead of dates. That's super helpful. As a matter of fact, I'm looking over the, the hourly chart right now across the office here, and the one hour cycle low on, I mean, the hourly cycle low was at 1300 a day. Man, it was banging right on the bank. And there was a little cycle low overnight at 3 a.m., and it was within one hour. It, it, I think it did it at 4 a.m. instead of 3. The cycles have been really, really good on the hourly chart. That's super helpful. It really helps to make a trade, set up the trades, okay, when you know there's going to be a cycle low at a certain time during the day. So that all comes uh, with the membership just for the streams. Now, when the Get Us Plus indicator suggests that there might be a trade, it sends an alert over to this channel. Okay, so what you do is you just right click on this channel and, you, and it'll be in there, it says notifications, you just turn them on. Super nice, so if you're not watching the stream because you're busy taking the kids to soccer practice or sledding down the snow hill somewhere in this time of year, whatever you're doing, getting groceries, playing basketball, whatever, you can still have your phone with you and just install the Discord app and you'll get alerts. Super nice, okay? Um, these other channels, so this this is a live stream, alerts go here. Okay, these channels don't have, I mean, these products, I should say, don't have um, a live stream, just the S&P 500 does. But I still send alerts out. So if you like to trade gold, you can turn on notifications for these channels too. So gold, crude oil, top 30 stocks, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ are in here. And then there's some daily alerts for some of these stocks that occasionally happen in here, okay? Premium symbols channel, every day anywhere from like two to four files worth of symbols will go in here at the end of the day. And there'll be symbols for futures, symbols for optionable stocks, some symbols that look like they might be getting ready to be shorted, right? They could be shorted, that'd be in there as well. And, and, and uh, let's see what else, I think industries, some symbols in there for industries. So really nice, if you wanna trade some symbols, you can go in there and look at them. Currency, occasionally I trade currency if I do, I usually trade the futures, but I suppose a Forex could work just as well. I trade usually one of the three currencies would be the British pound, the Aussie dollar, and the Euro dollar. Those are usually the big three I trade. Okay. Get us only posts. This is um, a read only channel. You can go in there, but you can't post anything in there. This is for me only. This is where I post the, like I'm doing this video right now. I'll put the link for the video in here. Okay. And also I just notify the members whenever I send out emails, which is right here. Every night I send out an email. So for members, or if you're going to become a member, make sure you put your email address in this email only channel, emails only channel, and I'll pick it up. And every night I send out an email. It'll be a daily uh, chart of the S&P 500 in the email, attached to the email, which includes the, the daily cycles. And usually I have in there um, some support and resistance, one or the other depending on what I think the market's doing. And I'll give like maybe a couple sentences in my opinion about what I think the market's gonna do, okay? Solar activity, yes, I track this. This has a huge impact on a lot of things on the face of the earth, including the markets. That may sound strange to some people, but believe it or not, it does. So I track solar activity. activity. Uh, fixed income, um, I do trade corporate bonds from time to time. When I do, I put them in there. And then these two channels up here, uh, S&P 500 mostly where the chat happens for most of the members. And then there's some member chat here as well. Okay, so all of this in this big old rectangle, this is everything that comes with this uh, 799. These are member member only channels. No, only members can access these channels, not the public. If you come in here, the only channel you can get into without paying is this one. And the only thing in there is like, hi, welcome to the server. All right, for members, if you have a support issue if it's regarding email, put it here in emails only. If it's any other type of support, put it in the member chat. Don't don't put it in SP five hundred because then it gets you know, it's you know it's uh, this should be SP five hundred topics only. All right, and I think that pretty much covers a little one more thing. The rules. That's right. We got to talk about the rules briefly here. Please follow the rules. Um, basically, there's three things in here about the rules. Be nice to everybody else. If you're going to post nasty stuff on, the, on my server, you're going to say nasty things or just be a jerk, I'm going to kick you. I'll warn you first. I'll probably remove the post or ask you to remove it 
if you keep being a, a nuisance, I'm going to kick you. If you keep doing it, I'm going to ban you. Okay. Don't make me be the bad guy, but I will do it. I can't tolerate, will not tolerate nasty stuff on the server. So please be nice to everybody else. Um, and here's a disclaimer that I'm not a financial advisor. I only give my opinion. Okay. And also the refund rules are in there. Okay. All right. I think that finally covers it. Happy trading, everybody. God bless everybody. We'll talk to you all real soon again next time.